All right, so I did a, a little bit of switching around. Basically what I did is I switched just where the, one, the suspension chamber moved this back here, moved one of the coal chambers here and put this one a little more forward. So the coal should be a little better spread out um, and the suspendium chambers as well. So we should have coal to all of them. Up here is kind of the only one where we only have this coal store to do supply all three of these suspendium chambers, but there's not, I mean, I could, I, could, I might do a slight rearrange. Let's see if I can get this to work. I uh, see, yeah, the problem is I'm not going to be able to re just adjust things. This is basically as good as it's going to get. Now I will probably do a Mark II. I'm actually going to just save this as a as the Mark I because all I did was rearrange. I didn't change anything, any of the components. I just rearranged some of them to kind of get a better positioning because I, I didn't really think about positioning when I was throwing this together. I actually started with the two large keels and then I just threw all the weapons kind of roughly around it and then started connecting things with what I with the different stuff that I wanted. So we might redesign, do an, uh, an alternative design, but I definitely think the grand keels are going to be helpful against the Aussies. I think that probably is one of the things that makes this last so long. Uh, also, we have quite a bit of fire suppression. We got a bunch of fire extinguishers up here on the top and then several fire points kind of in the back and front. Now, these middle sections are a little vulnerable. Um, I'd kind of like to rearrange them a bit, but I don't want to take anything too much away from kind of this back area. So again, maybe a redesign with more fire points, maybe cut out I don't, I don't really know i also forgot to mention but we do have two machine shops here uh which is basically a, which allows for repairs to be done we also have a sick bay uh which allows for you know people to be uh revived and we then just have fire doors is our connection our connecting elements so just a little more info on what the behemoth looks like as i said we got suspendium cannons up front gatling guns up front and dorsal and ventral turrets and then just flat cannons so Either way, I'm going to set up a battle, and we're going to be going at it again with this. And we are back. So first off, I'm going to save this combat. Behemoth versus Aussie. We're going to do this one. Okay, army of one. Saving that. So we have uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 23 Mark 1s and 3, 6, 9, 12 Mark 2s. I did them in kind of these little groupings so it's easier to count them. I figured that would be a make things a lot that easier for me. So here we go. We're gonna just make, hold our position. We don't need to waste coal on doing propulsion. I mean, to, in some degree, we could basically. Ah, crap. No, we just went full Titanic. Oh, that is not good. We just boom split right down the middle. That stupid Aussie landed on us. Well, this is this is this is no good. But it's good. We still have command of the ship because we have a rear bridge. We have three bridges on this thing. Hey, we have a higher lift ceiling now. <laughs> and we only have oh no nope, no nope. yeah there we go. I was getting ready to say and we still have our ventral turret, but nope, it's gone. All we have at this point are what wise is two flat cannons. Hey, we can go even higher though. We still uh, looks like these down the Gatling guns are still firing though. So we'll see how much damage we're able to do before we go down, but uh, we're going to rerun this. We're going to just do the same combat over again because, unfortunately, going full Titanic and splitting right down the middle is not a good test. That, that happened way too early in the game. And again, that might happen again, but it just one of the Aussies crashed and burned on us and boom. Yeah, yeah I think the weak point is like right here because basically the, each of the keels, the keels are pretty... Keels seem to do a pretty good job of, like, keeping the ship from falling apart too much. But, man, we are burned out pretty badly there. So, I think that's pretty much it. We must admit defeat. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Wow, we did thir cause 13 casualties there, so that's not too bad. I think this ship might actually have a chance. Army of one. So, we're going to try this Exact same positioning, I'm, I'm not too worried about it. Just hopefully we don't have a ship crash and split us through the middle. Okay, ammo. We might be a little, we might need to, mm, I don't know if we can rearrange. Maybe we could move that. Nah, but see, that's part of the suspendium cannon. No, not again. Not again. No. No. <laughs> it happened again. Okay. I didn't go all the way through this time, but yeah, okay. We are, yes, we're going to exit combat. Okay, so we're going to open this combat. 
I'm gonna try this again and avoid, hopefully, we're gonna move this up closer because I think what happens is there's that one, one of the Aussies gets part way through and then just crashes through. Now this might happen again, but we are gonna see if we are able to survive a little bit longer. No. Okay, okay, see, it didn't crash on us that time. It's mainly when they're going overhead, our flat cannons are a little too effective and take them down too fast. So we've only already caused a couple of casualties. Um, that ship's also out of action. Um, we're taking we're taking a beating. Uh, we're going to back up a little bit. Oh, no, no, that's going to crash on us. No. Yeah, we got to try and avoid ships crashing on us, but that's the hardest thing. That's another thing. The Aussies make really good suicide ships. I think I've talked about this in the past, but is have them sitting over top of an enemy, and just when they crash, they're going to crash on top of them. Our suspinium cannons have no targets anymore. Yeah, looks like this is... Looks like we're... The gig is up. Let's see how many casualties we did at the end of this, though. I am curious to see. Ammunition's about to blow. We've lost command of the ship. Looks like we've lost... Most of our guys are dead, it looks like. I don't even see... Do we have any functional weapons? Yeah, we must admit defeat. Yeah, we didn't do nearly as good that time in terms of casualties. But, yeah, so that's my attempt at the Army of One Challenge. Now, again, I, I, will pro I should probably design two, like, medium, like, ships that are basically, like, take the behemoth and split it into two different ships. Um, I'll probably do that or downsize them, downsize it a little bit. I'll probably try that out. However, um, that's it for this video. I'm going to come back and do this challenge again. This will probably be several videos worth, uh, probably several videos out of just this one concept of the challenge because countering a bunch of really small, cheap ships is so far, we haven't come up with something that can do it for this, for the same cost of small ships one medium or large ship so we're gonna try uh, next video we'll probably be focusing obviously this one we went one massive ship next video we'll probably be trying uh two we'll probably start out with two pretty large ships and then from there we might even take it further and downscale like three or four medium ships and see if like a grouping of medium ships can take out a bunch of aussies either way that's all for this video thanks for watching be sure to check back for more uh, airships conquer the skies. Uh, coming up next, we're gonna have a my the conquest is currently in the works. The next conquest, as well as more commenter challenges, will be on the way. Thanks for watching, and as always, till next time.